All right, what's up, everybody? We are back with episode six of The Flash. So I just came off of watching the previous episode. Yeah, once again, a, a you know, kind of self-contained case, I guess you could say, but another human that was essentially affected by the massive blast that occurred back in that first episode, right? She was called Beth and has now, unfortunately, uh, yeah, well, passed away. So she's not... Uh, it's, it's funny because it seems like she was ready to basically tell Barry there about how... You know, it was Harrison that had convinced her to go after the general, right? Even if uh, Barry himself actually disagreed and basically convinced her why that was never a good plan. And so she must have caught on to something here, right? And she was just going to tell him at least about Harrison being the one that, that set her up to do it, right? Because Harrison, of course, wasn't open about that whatsoever to the rest of the crew either. So this would have told Barry that there was sketchy shit going on behind the scenes. But unfortunately, he just didn't get to have the revelation. In the meantime, when it comes to Iris, it seems like we've kind of separated, um, you know, how should I put this? It's like we've taken a temporary break, I guess you could say, right? Because I guess Barry felt like it was the only possible move that was left for him to pull to be able to get her off of trying to follow the Flash around, right? Because obviously that's what Joe asked him to do. And, you know, both Joe and I think Barry honestly does feel the same. Like they don't want her to get into this kind of trouble, to get into this kind of danger. But... I, I can't say that I really agree with his move here because it seems like, I mean, she's made her mind up, right? And at that point, there is nothing you really can do and trying to force somebody, you know, to, to make a certain call by, by, you know, distancing yourself from her seems like the, yeah, the dumbest thing to do, honestly. Um, so I really don't know where this is all going to lead. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna simply have to wait and see, guys. I think for now, let's just dive into this new episode. Of course, if you enjoy my reactions to the Flash, you will be able to get early access to the next eight plus episodes straight away over on my Patreon page, which is going to be linked on top of the description. I will be increasing the amount of episodes that will be there for early access uh, over the next couple of weeks. I don't know what you know how many episodes that will be already up for you to check out, but. Check it out. That's going to be linked on top of the description and you'll be able to see it there. Uh, your support is, of course, very much appreciated and allows me to make these videos in the first place. You can watch my full length reactions there if you want to see me react to the episodes in their entirety. And you can even sign up as a free member as well and watch at least the next uh, episode already uh, yeah, over there right now as well. With that being said, let's dive into episode six. To understand what I'm about to tell you, you need to do something first. You need to believe in the impossible. Can you do that? good because all of us we have forgotten what mir dude i love these kinds of like highways or crossings or whatever that you got in america i feel like we don't have anything looking honestly like that right in the middle of a city or whatever right where they got like so many roads crossing each other all like stacked on top of each other it always looks so fucking cool i don't know where you came from i don't know your name but i have seen you do the impossible to protect the city i love so for those of us who believe in you and what you're doing I just want to say thank you. Man, she's writing a personal letter of admiration to him on a blog now. Yeah, wait until she actually finds out. <laughs> wait, he just took her? You're welcome. How did you... I literally just hit send. <laughs> Nah, nah, nah. My man's got the notifications on his phone going off anytime she writes something. Also for his personal reasons, I'm sure. You need to stop writing your blog. People need to know that you exist. He's still trying. Fucking pointless. Oh shit, yo. She just ignored a call from Eddie. Like, you know what that tells you right there. Come on, you gotta give me something. Hobbies, pet peeves, favorite color. Wait, scratch that last one. Red. Duh. Obviously. You're not hearing me. My hearing is fine. It's just selective. <laughs> what should I call you? Boyfriend. <laughs> you said you were writing about me to bring hope to someone you care about. How would he feel if doing that put you in harm's way? He and I aren't exactly on the same page these days. Besides, you're giving hope to a lot of people. So I'm doing this for them. Man. Like, it can't be long until she starts to put things together here, right? And like, uh, my guy Barry here is not really making things... Uh, well, he's making things pretty damn obvious, is what I mean to say. Oh, God. Who is this now in the fucking monster truck? I think that's an SUV, right? My car knowledge is absolutely fucking trash. What kind of a tool steals a yellow Humvee? What kind of tool buys a yellow Humvee? 
get these people. <laughs> exactly. Isn't a Humvee what Price had in Better Call Saul with the <laughs> the fire pattern on it or whatever for anybody who's seen it? <laughs> oh my god, so silly. Out of the way! Oh shit. Damn. Well, that was a fucking close one. Yo. Oh, we're hitting him. Yeah, it's just another one. It's just another meta human. We're gonna meet a new one every fucking episode. Step out of the vehicle. If you say so. <laughs> wow. Olympic throw right there. Looks like you were born to take a beating. Yeah, he's got like a steel shield within his body. What exactly are we debating? The average number of bugs Barry swallows in a day of running. <laughs> forward to seeing you accept your Nobel. <laughs> That's kind of a gross thing to think about. Not something I wanted to consider. You also have a concussion, three cracked ribs, and a bruised spleen. Even with your powers, you'll need a few hours to heal. What exactly did you hit? A few hours. A few long hours. I wish I could recover like that. His skin changed when I hit him. Like, it turned to metal. Interesting. A man of steel. So you went after a metahuman alone. Uh, isn't there an actual show or movie or whatever called Man of Steel? Actually, is that not... No, actually, yeah, I'm not sure. Man, my superhero knowledge is fucking trash. Isn't Man of Steel, like, I'm thinking about... Superman now, but I don't know what that movie was actually called. I think it was something like that. You know what? I actually want to look that up real quick, guys. <laughs> you don't mind, right? I just want to make sure. Man of Steel. I, I swear I've heard that's like a movie title. Yeah, no, I think it is Superman, isn't it? Yeah, it is Superman. Okay. You know what? I'm not that bad. <laughs> Didn't see it, though, but still. Strange thing is, I feel like I knew him. What do you mean? When he said something that was... Familiar. But he's gonna hurt someone if we don't stop him. So how do I fight a guy that's made of steel? We will find a way. Okay, I didn't recognize him though. I don't know what that was about. I was a man in yellow. And I was on the street. I don't know how I got there. Please, you have to believe me. Damn, still going over his old recordings. So he is many human. Yeah. That particle accelerator is the gift that keeps on giving. You okay? Relative. That's what I'm saying, man. A new one every episode. At this point, it's a pattern. I actually kind of wonder what the long term for the show is going to look like. Because I feel like this first season, this is basically going to be the case for a long time to come. So we're going to meet new people that were affected by the accelerator or whatever, right, the whole time. But clearly, there's going to be, I mean, I think this show has like over 150 episodes or something I saw. So clearly, there's going to be some type of turning point, let's say, right, where... Yeah, you'd hope, actually, Harrison's identity comes out and things really start to move in a certain new direction. But yeah, I wonder what this show is going to turn into at that point. Our perp yanked three ATMs after he boosted the vehicle. ATM security cameras caught him on video. We got a hit in the database. Tony Woodward. He got a history of violence, petty theft, assault, going way back to juvie. Dropped off the radar ten months ago. Okay, so that name rings a bell for him, clearly. I don't know how you remember all this stuff, Barry. Because he's a little freak, just like his old man. Don't talk about my dad. Or what? Is he gonna murder me too? Oh shit, he was his bully back in high school. Once again, once a fucking again, they picked something person like they picked somebody, I should say, personal to Barry, right? Like somebody in his direct vicinity, somebody who shares a connection to either him or sometimes it's Harrison, right? When I think back to the like army. Uh, general from last episode so this shit is so planned clearly at this point right like it's never somebody random hey hmm. barry oh hi babe i saw the news are you okay yeah i'm fine which you would know if you checked your messages yeah we are no longer talking <laughs> that was the plan right I had, I had to work late um so i heard that the streak saved a kid any comment detective all i know is our perp got away Oh shit, Barry just noticed her basically saying that she didn't have time for him and he feels so fucking good about that. Oh boy. I need your help solving an old case of mine. What case is that? The murder of Barry's mother. 
Oh, I'm sure he'd love being involved in this. He can manipulate it a little better. Because surely he was behind that too. Behold. I call him Girder. For the record, not my idea. <laughs> okay, this is going to be our combat buddy. Channel your speed the right way and you can totally take this bad boy down. Now, obviously, your girder is a moving target. Okay. Honestly, pretty cool. A little intimidating, but pretty cool. Yeah. Damn. I was about to say, I do not want those hooks clawing into me. So, Barry, when you said you were off duty last night, you weren't visiting Iris again, you know, in disguise. You never would. No. Good. <laughs> I get that you two go way back. To be honest, I was a little threatened by you at first. You were threatened by me? Sure. I mean, I've seen how close you two are. But you seem like a good guy. But he's just a, you know, brother. From my experience, good friends are hard to find. Detective, excuse me. Nothing ever suspicious going on there. Good friends are hard to find. You need to learn how to control your emotions. Iris, come here, sweetie. <laughs> you want me to hit a girl? He wants you to try. Relax, Barry. I've had her in gloves since she was six. She's tougher than she looks. I like how they're still using Joe's actual actor for this, and he actually does seem like younger here too, so it's kind of believable. Not that I think they used any CGI whatsoever. Judging by the mud and kegs, I'd say he got hammered, stole a big ass truck, and went joyriding. I bet the kegs are stolen too. Rusty iron ale. It's a micro brood right over in. Yo. Is that actually the story that we're coming up with here? Like, does Barry believe any of this himself? Because <laughs> I feel like there's something more going on there. Okay, here we go. What is this? Shards of what? Is that the metal kind of? Like from his armor? Last night I saw Barry rescue a young boy from being run over and it looked exactly like what Barry described happened to him. Got me thinking. What if somebody with Barry's abilities... Exactly. Exactly. It's just one flaw with your theory though, Detective, and that is that all of this happened 14 years ago, which is long before... Your machine gave Barry his powers. An accident gave Barry his powers. An accident? Yeah, an accident gave him powers. No, that was purposefully planned by you, and so clearly you also purposefully gave the person before who committed the murder these powers. Question is, who was this person? Could it actually be you? Could it actually be Harrison himself? Would not surprise me to be fair, or maybe he had somebody else, you know, pull it off. But then, where is this person now? Any chance some of your merchandise was stolen last night? No, I don't think so. How about this guy? Seen him? Ooh. You know Tony, don't you? Oh yeah, that's a very suspicious look right there. My man doesn't want to answer. Oh shit. That's a little bit suspicious on his end though. Just showing up here like that. And he just caught wind of that too. How'd he get here? Boss is handing out pink slips. Tony gets his and he just snapped. He started beating the crap out of the guy. We pulled him off. And then the lights went out. Some kind of power surge. And then Tony went over the railing. Right into a vat of molten scrap. Hmm. Yep. And that's where he got hit by the accelerator. That's interesting how he described that. Like, once again, the dude got caught up in some kind of accident. So he was meant to have died. I think that's what we said about a, a certain other character before as well, right? In one of the prior episodes. So what, what the hell is the deal with the timing there constantly too? So crazy. Iris? Long time no see. Oh my god, now my guy shows up to her. This is fucking bad. I gotta say, Iris, you look amazing. Thanks, Tony. Um, you too. Oh, yeah, I keep in shape. <laughs> Got a gym at my place. Show off. This guy. How did you know I was here? I've been reading up on the streak. Found your little blog. Why are you writing about this guy? People say that he's a hero. I say he's a coward. And I just happened to know that he took a beating last night and ran off like a little girl. <laughs> Dude, is my guy just trying to pick a fight with Barry to like 
basically show off to her? Has he been in like love with her all this time and that's what this is about now? Using his powers for that particular purpose? That's crazy. I'll time you off. <sighs> Thanks, Tony, but I don't think my boyfriend would approve. He's a cop, like my dad. I never really did my cop. Oh, dude. This is bad. You should not tell him about this. Well, he's picking me up for the policeman's ball. Uh, multiple cops can't swing a cat. I should probably call him to see where he Phone is. Iris. Now! Oh, shit. Oh, this is where you are getting abducted right now. This is where the trouble begins. The damage. We'll pick this up some other time. Oh, okay, okay, okay. He just couldn't have her calling cops. Yeah, that makes sense. He doesn't want to be seen here. Are you okay? Cop's daughter, I can handle myself. Not with this guy. I knew him when we were kids. He didn't want to hurt me. He wanted to impress me. But he is fixated on you and not in a good way. Do you know where he went? Yeah, likely because of you, actually. <laughs> I don't know if she's realizing that. Wait, there's something else. His hand, it transformed we know, like an iron we know. fist. You're not telling us anything new. Holy shit. Yo, this is the thing that he like fell into? I think that's what they said, right? That that explanation that the guy gave went very fast, but he got himself into some kind of accident, I think. This is definitely the place. Oh shit. Oh shit. Right behind you. I was ready for the jump scare. Barry? Barry, where are you? Caitlin, over here. Barry? <laughs> Please say something. Say something so we know you're okay. Yeah, I'm sorry. I can't help but laugh seeing his fitness gear in the back there, though. <laughs> he was right about that. He works out. Fair enough. Ran an analysis on the metal in Tony's footprint. Based on its density and atomic structure, if you impact it at just the right angle, That's at just weak the point. right speed, you could do some serious damage. Serious damage. Yeah, fair enough. Everybody has a weak point. You'd have to hit him at approximately... Mach 1.1. Ooh. Do you want Barry to hit something at 800 miles? I was going to say, that's a lot of power, I'm pretty sure. He would create a sonic boom, which, as I've said before, would be awesome. I've never gone that fast. Yet. I can't believe we're actually entertained. <laughs> so, the, so the way of achieving that is by making him go even faster so that he can ram into him at the, yeah, the, the, the right amount of power. That's fucking insane, man. How, how much faster does he need to go? Do it right, you'll take him down. Do it wrong, you'll shatter every bone in your body. Man, whole of meat style, huh? For anybody who's played skate. Tollbooth's camera got a shot of Woodward. Stolen car headed out of town. State police are taking over. They lost him. Don't worry, Eddie. Go get him. I wanted to take this guy down. Not half as much as I did. <laughs> it's kind of funny that they're both so desperate to go after him because <laughs> they're after what you know they are after too or he is after what they are after too hey Alan. it's okay trust me i had my fair share of bullies at school yeah, somehow i find that hard to believe <laughs> no i think Short, you would have bullied fat the son of a politician who closed the factory in my school district so not so popular okay fair enough maybe this eddie guy is not that bad to be fair here. A lot of guys waste energy trying to land the most punches. All it takes is one. Yeah, a good one. <laughs> Mark 1.1. <1. 1. laughs> Harder. Harder. <laughs> Damn, oh shit. Now nah, he used some of his powers there. <laughs> Yo, my guy knocked the fucking sand out of the bag. That's <laughs> that's crazy. Honestly, though, Eddie is kind of growing on me now just because of this scene. I mean, I always kind of had my judgments about him, and it's easy, of course, right? Because he's after the same the same treasure, let's say, right? So automatically that makes him competition. But what he's telling us right now about his like backstory, also being bullied, being short, being fat, and kind of you know fighting his way through the way that he's uh, helping out Barry here. He, he, you know, he might be pretty nice, honestly. And we've both recently seen things that have redefined what is 
possible. Yes, we have, and we both know the direct cause of those things. Your accelerator explosion. So, you were me here. It seems to me that way back then, there must have been another part yo, of the accelerator. Yo, yo. Joe, you're getting too close to the truth here, man. I mean, this automatically, you know, deduce these things, add one and one up together. You probably were involved back then too, right? Like, you you had to fucking be. I mean, he's obviously going to play it off like, oh, somebody else must have, you know, done something similar, I guess, or worked on something similar. But that's... It's just too easy to come to this conclusion at this point. I can assure you that's extremely unlikely, Detective. And if they were... I don't recall any dark matter lightning storms before I moved to town. Do you? No. I wonder. No, I don't. I wonder if anybody actually noticed something happening back then. I mean, clearly, like, the accident was just a diversion, right? Like, the accident might not have even been the thing that gave him the powers. I mean, it probably did, to be fair. But that's always what I wonder about, because surely... I mean, it hit a bunch of people in its radius, right? How is it that these specific people were changed as a result? I mean, yeah, again, I think that the blast was probably... The blast was the excuse. The blast might have not actually been the thing that caused it to happen. He did something else before, like he prepped something, gave all these specific people some way where he could just like flip a switch and get him to get these powers, and he did it at the exact moment where the blast happened or something, right? That's probably what it was. When did you move to town, Dr. Wells? 14 years ago. Something tells me that you already know the answer. Oh, God. To that question, Detective. Oh, this my. This will help you solve the murder of Nora Allen. That's not what this is about. Oh, shit. He knows that he suspects him. Here, I thought we were just two guys having a friendly drink. Ah, uh, fuck, answers, man. Detective. Tess Morgan, look her up. Tess Morgan? Okay, I wonder who Tess Morgan is and what he's going to lead him to. But Jesus, Joe is getting too close. Like, this only worries me because on one hand, I obviously want Harrison caught, but I don't need, like, Joe actually finding out shit here unless he shares it at least with Barry, right? That's not going to happen, probably. Unit 52, this is dispatch requesting status update on the West House. Oh, fuck. Yo, Tony is back. Dude. He just came right to her. Don, Alan, the unit watching Jill's daughter, they've been attacked. Iris is missing. Go, all right? Oh. And took her in the process, great. Oh. This place, Iris? So what's the plan here, Tony? You're finally gonna go for that GED? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what are we taking her to school for? Because the streak is dead. No squashed like a little bug by me oh so if you don't want the same thing to happen to you you're gonna tell the whole world that there's a new big man on campus oh my god my guy over here thinks so fucking highly of himself he actually thinks that he just took out <laughs> barry he of course didn't i can't wait for him to find out that barry is still here you could have anybody write about you tony why me oh i know why i like you iris always have you should have said something Oh shit! Try anything like that again, and I'm gonna leave more than a bruise. Yeah, that is kind of an amateur strategy against somebody like this. But then again, I mean, that alarm going off is uh, gonna get people to catch on who's in there. Cops are already looking for me. So get ready to cover the showdown of a lifetime, because I'm not going out without a fight. Oh shit! Here he is. Wow. This is between us. Let her go. Oh, oh dude. I could, but I'd rather make her wash why I break every bone in your body. My man is so fucking insecure, honestly. <laughs> Damn. Slid right under him. Making Iris even more uh, in love in the process, I feel. Ooh. Oh, God. Oh, shit. I mean, how are we going to get a Mach 1.1 strike over here? We can't build up that kind of speed in a small-ass hallway. If you do come up against somebody you know you can't beat, be smart. It's okay to run the other way. 
Oh shit. Oh, he's coming back. Maybe he's coming back in with that speed. He made it out. Barely. Nah, he did not just actually flee though, did he? Why did he stop? He's miles away. Yeah, exactly. I think the strategy here is exactly like the the amount of, you know, the distance that he needs to build up enough speed so that he can actually hit him over there at the right spot, right? That's what we're doing. Very oh quick. shit. No way he's going to do it. Go man, go. <laughs> Damn. Making all the glass shatter in the process. Somebody's going to have to pay for those damages though. Well, taxes are going to go up in this city again. Wow. <laughs> Straight in the face. Okay, I'm surprised my guy is still able to stand. Oh, shit! <laughs> I did not expect Iris to contribute to this. <laughs> hey! What is this? Where the hell am I? Got him. Somewhere you'll never hurt anyone ever again. Who the hell do you think you are? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Wow, I'm surprised he'd reveal his identity to him. You used your gift to hurt people. Not anymore. Alan. I mean... Alan. I know I've not seen that many superhero movies and shows and this and that but i've seen enough to know that like breakouts happen pretty damn regularly so <laughs> i'm pretty sure that's a potential situation here a potential scenario to play out right that like a bunch of these people are going to be breaking out and at that point you're going to regret actually revealing your identity to him you two were research partners in maryland yes we were we were married to the work as much as to each other after the car accident i could not go back to the work could not go back to our lab. So you moved here. Where no one knew me. Where no one could remind me of what I had lost. Okay, still, how does this all tie in with everything else? At the time of Nora Allen's murder, the particle accelerator that I would eventually create was but a notion, much less a reality. I'm sorry I doubted you. The weird part is, is that he does seem believable to some of these, you know, like arguments that he comes up with, right? And like, clearly there is hurt that he feels here. And there is this stuff that seems to have actually happened to him, the way that he's basically saying it. So what the fuck is going on? Like, I think that the anger that my guy actually feels towards some of these people that we've dealt with already by now in the past, right? Like, for example, the army general last episode, that was very real as well. And it probably stemmed from just his actual dealings with him and stuff, right? So anytime that he brings up sort of emotional things to him, like that's where I actually find him super believable. You know what I mean? But yeah. When I heard Tony took you, I, I just, I don't know what I would do if anything happened to you. Well, my guardian angel's looking out for me. Yeah. Do you want to... Little do you know. <laughs> I just, for some reason, like, I can't get over this constantly, you know? Like, you know, this is going to continue. Just these conversations are going to continue playing out like this for a while to come still, right? <laughs> and every single time it's making me, like, slightly awkward. <laughs> there are others out there that are like him. I I've gotten scattered posts about this guy that's on fire, except that he doesn't burn up. Okay. Great. Great. Let's start chasing all the villains now, too. Yeah, that's, that's, actually, that's even better. Then a friend gave me an idea for a new name. And something tells me it's gonna catch on. <laughs> oh yeah, that works way better than the streak. I despise that name, honestly. Oh shit. Power outage. Oh no. Not this again. Dude, what the fuck is happening? Don't tell me he's dying. Yo, was this a warning of some kind? Can't have been. You're making it very clear at that point that you were involved. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. He's got a knife on her picture. 
Damn, man. They're very good with the, like, last minute teases that they do every single episode, I gotta say. All right, guys. Anyway, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and of course, you can get early access to the next eight plus episodes straight away over on my Patreon page, which is going to be linked on top of the description. Go and check it out. You can also sign up as a free member and watch at least the next episode already right now. So, I'll see you there.